John, there's one thing I must say, and that is I've never actually had the benefit or the privilege of reading your first book, which was called Banks and Judges. Obviously the second book, which was released last year, The Jackals of Slavery, but the book titled Banks and Judges, that was released way back, I believe it was around the late 1990s. Yep. Is that book still available? Can it be found online for purchase, or is there an online people can read through Kindle or the like? Well, actually, I've... I've put the text of the Banks and Judges onto the website. So onto you, your new website? Yeah, yeah, yeah sir. So I, actually, this, this, this uh, book here um, is very pr primitive. In fact, it's very dry running because there are lots of transcripts and judgments and laws and so forth. But it's, it's whereas the new book is a little bit more colourful, more, more readable. So this one, um, it came out yeah at the end of the uh, uh, 20th century. And this means that even if people can't get their hands on a printed uh, hard copy, they can read it. They online. can read the text on the website, uh, juriesareus.com.au. And uh, but this this is, this is the focus of getting our country back, because if we don't control the banks and the the, the thievery, uh, then we're lost. Even Thomas Jefferson said. Uh, we have more danger from the banks than we do from any standing ar army. Uh, they will uh, have a series of booms and busts until one day we wake up in the morning and find we've lost our country. And so all this new world order and so forth, it's all by money grabbing, it's all by mammon. So we've got to stop the banks, stop these. And it, this last uh, round of interest rate rises, there be they're being sold to the Australia uh, to the total lie because you cannot impact a contract. Nothing can be added to it and you can't even break it. That's what a contract is. And these variable interest rates have uncertainty and there's, there's no, no lawful contra contract with variable interest rates. But, and, but when you get into the courts, the judges will say, oh yes, the rates indeed certain, they are lying. Unless we can control the banks, we have no hope whatsoever. So the whole idea is to teach people to not only challenge the jurisdictions on court and get the courts back into our control, but also enforce the common law. And the common law says that uh, there are eight essential elements for the creation of a contract. There's offer, acceptance, legality of purpose, sufficient consideration, uh, in, intention of the legal relations, uh, legal uh, full consent and certainty of terms, all these sort of things come into it. So all the, all these people who think, oh, we're going to pay another thousand dollars a month on their mortgage, that they're being lied to because those contracts are fraud. And there's, there's, in one line, variable interest rates render a contract void for uncertainty. And when you obtain money by fraud, that's stealing and we've got to stop the banks in their tracks and so people have got to be educated as to the real economics. In the first book I quote the, the commercial law of contracts and so forth and it's all very very plain and so we go to courts we say no uh, this contract is void and so that's, that's what started me in the courts because I had a loan uh, which I paid a certain amount of money and then I, I owed more than what I borrowed. And that's crazy. It's illegal. But these uh, con artists, these jackals, get away with it because they're not being held to account in our courts and we've got to govern from our courts. Well, I think the whole issue of interest rate rises gets combined with concerns regarding the cost of living, particularly in a city like Sydney, and it's certainly not the only one, but where there is a considerable cost of living. Mm. And now people are saying, well, I'm going to have to find an extra thousand dollars a month to service the mortgage. So mm. this is in, in fact going yeah. to be a real ongoing issue. The whole, the whole topic or issue of debt trap diplomacy yeah. is, is being imposed not only by the banks, but also by governments. Oh yeah, yeah. it's a spiral down and down and down. That's, it's been set up that way and you, you've got to put a stop to that. In fact, all this crea creation of money is all fraud. The biggest fraud of all time is that banks create money out of thin air. And that's fraud. 
they could be held account. Now, when, it, when they had the Commonwealth Bank back in the uh, First World War, so they, so they set up a fair system of banking, but then it, it, that's been overtaken by, by the private banks. The private banks now control their money, and I think Lord Rothschild said, uh, uh, I don't care who makes the laws, just let me issue the money. Control the that's money. Because that's where it comes from. I believe the Rothschilds had a similar saying, mm. something al along those lines. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, 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 th their focus was on the money, the bottom line, not, not laws or justice. No, well, well, when you're introducing all this money uh, out of thin air, you know, you, you're adding to the, uh, the pool of money. So the more money you have, the less value it is, and the less you can buy with it. So that becomes economics, you know, and we've got to control the economics with common law.